I would like to ask a question. Why is it that most Ghanaians, the ones that haven't traveled out of the country before, they are so tribalistic. The way they showcase their anger, their frustration, and um, hatred for Nigerians is becoming so alarming. The comments I'm always getting is not really encouraging. Why? Why? Why are they behaving like that? Nigerians are very nice people. We are so accommodating. Once you are dark skinned, you are our brother, you are my sister. Once you are dark skinned, have you asked yourself why is it that Nigerians are not too close to, like, we do not relate too much with Benin Republic, Togo? Instead, we relate so much with Ghanaians. Why? We relate so much with Ghana. We, we marry we marry from Ghana and Ghana is, they marry from Nigeria, right? I don't know, there is this bond with, I feel we share. I don't know if you feel the same. For me, I see Ghanaians as my brothers and my sisters. But I don't feel the same for other African countries. I don't feel the same. But once you are a Ghanaian, if you're a lady, you're my sister. I see you as a Nigerian. Same way I see a Nigerian. If you're a guy, I see you as my brother. Same way I see a Nigerian brother. But once you're from other African countries, I feel like we do not have anything in common. In common. But most Ghanaians, the way they see us, especially once they hear a uh, Nigerian, you're a Nigerian, they the way they behave, when you go through the comment sections, like my comment sections, it's not encouraging. Uh, I'm, I'm always like, why are these people uttering words like this? Like, why do they have so much hatred for Nigerians? Like, I don't understand. I do not understand. And I've come to realize that most of the people that, that behaves like this, uh, most of them are the ones that haven't traveled out of the country. They have not traveled out of the country. Majority of them are the ones that have been in Ghana. They have not. They have never crossed the border. They have not been to the airports. Have you seen it? Because when you go outside, Ghanaians that are outside Ghana, those ones, their mentality, their mentality is different. Like their mentalities are so different. They do not reason the same way others reason. Recently, I think it's because they have gone out, they have mixed up with people. They now know that once they are dark skin, they are their brother. I've visited it. But the ones here, the way they see Nigerians as if Nigerians are not best thieves, they hate them, they should go back to their country. Come on. There's millions of Ghanaians living in Nigeria, if you don't know. You are saying all this because you haven't traveled out. When you go to Nigeria, you will see millions of young men, Ghanaian men, they braid hair. If you go to Nigeria, there is this hair we call Ghana, Ghana weaving, Ghana braid, Ghana weaving. It's mainly done by Ghanaian men, not Nigerian men. Ghanaian men. And we patronize them so much. They use it to raise their children. They use it to raise their family. They use it to cater for their families in Ghana. So when you are pronouncing hatred on people like this, just be careful. Just be careful that you are still in Ghana doesn't mean that you you will live the rest of your life in Ghana. Someday you pray to leave the country. So where are you going? To? Is it not another person's country that you are going to? Because the way you guys behave most times, I don't understand. As if there is this thing we are dragging. We are not dragging anything. Nigeria and Ghana are one. We are one. We are one see it like that we are one if anyone offends you speak on that particular person that have offended you not to generalize it most of you are saying nigerians are fraudsters come on there are plenty sakawa sakawa boys sakawa in ghana here there are plenty of them who are into sakawa there are plenty of ghanaian boys that does yahoo there is nothing that you see nigerians are doing that ghanaian men are not doing so can we just stop hitting on each other? Let's love lead. Let's love lead. There are plenty of guys that do sakawa. Plenty of them. 
But it won't be nice if I come out and start saying all oh, Ghanaian men are doing Sakawa. No, some are doing genuine business. Oh, there are some Ghanaians that are doing genuine business. So it will be so fruitful in the scientific discussion when I come out and start saying um, all Ghanaian men do Sakawa. It's not right. So for majority of you that have that same uh, mindset towards Nigerians, please stop. Stop. If you've, if you've ever been to a Nigeria before, or if you've ever had a Nigerian friend, you will know that Nigerians are the, the kind of people that you can rely on. Nigerians are the kind of people, if you, if you are in trouble and call a Nigerian by 2 a.m., he or she will be dead. But in, if you have a financial problem in any situation you find yourself and call upon any Nigerian, they will definitely be dead. We have, that's, that's the spirit. Even if you don't have uh, 1,000 Ghana to give you, at least the person will give you 300 cities. Even if that's his last uh, money with him, he will give it to you just for you to sort your problems. We are very nice people. We are so accommodating. We are loving people. Stop the hate. It's becoming so alarming. Stop the hate. Don't make Nigerians feel that Ghanaians hate them. It's not right. It's not proper. It's not proper at all. It's not proper. Don't make Nigerians feel that Ghanaians has this hatred for them. We are not in competition. We are not competing anything with Ghana. No. Ghana is our sister. And we love Ghanaians. We love them so much. So can we stop the hate? Let's love late. I've always preached this. Let's love late. Thank you very much. I still remain your girl. Just cheesy. Okay? Bye-bye.